What's up everyone, it's Mr. Wee here, and today we are going to look at the best current loadout in Warzone. It has saved me so many times and won me many matches that were near impossible, and I hope it can help you win as well. It's very reliable, precise, stable, and versatile. So let's get into it. And here we have our loadout of dreams, and you guessed it, we're going with the Cooper Carbine meta. Overall, for this loadout, I was really aiming to minimize the recoil while making sure that the ADS or aimed outside is quick enough. Um, and on top of that, I really wanted to make it as stealthy as possible. It's also OP simply because it's from Vanguard, so you know that you're going to have many more attachments to perfect the gun the way you want it to be. Um, so here we go. What we have is this Cooper Carbine. Um, as you can see, I put on a Mercury silencer. Always want it to be as stealthy as possible. We want it silent and while also helping with the recoil. So that's why I made uh, that selection. And for the barrel, we went with the 18 inch Ragdoll G45. Helps with recoil control as well as bullet velocity uh, and range. You do sacrifice some fire rate and hip fire accuracy, but. Um, I have other attachments that will help counteract that as you'll see. For the optic, I went with the MK12 Night Vision. It has uh, really, it, it helps with your recoil control a lot. And when you see the contrast in the colors, it's much easier to pick out opponents and uh, shoot at them. So that's why I went with this one in, in the game. You'll see why I love it so much. Um, Three times magnification, increased accuracy is really helpful when you're trying to really pick out opponents from afar. Um, and because this loadout has so little recoil, it's going to be very helpful for that. Almost like a sniper, but in the sense that it will shoot long range, but uh, it could shoot multiple bullets all at once and uh, just very powerful. And so next we have the Cooper 45 RS stock helps with recoil and it helps out with aim down sight speed. So that, that's what I was talking about before. Yes, we want to keep the recoil at a minimum, but we also want to make sure that we're, we're able to aim down sight quickly enough so that uh, we can react much quicker. And for the underbarrel, we went with the Carver foregrip. Again, helping recoil control. I chose this one over the other ones because it does help with hip fire accuracy. Um, so that's pretty helpful as well when you, you're not able to aim down sight. Uh, and so I, I thought it was a really good addition to this gun. For the magazine, we went with the 60 round drums. Uh, to me, the, the more ammo you can have in your magazines, the better. And as long as it doesn't affect your aim down Let's see, for ammunition, I went with in incendiary rounds. Uh, they inflict a lot more damage than you would expect. It's very effective. I, I love using this and also, you know, the visual effects of the incendiary rounds. Just burning through the opponents is also satisfying to see. Um, and for the rear grip, we have a groove grip. Uh, not only does it help with the horizontal rear control, recoil control it helps with um, you know your aim down sight speed making sure that you're able to react uh, as quickly well it aims with aim down sight firing move speed so when you're moving around it's easier to aim um, and it's much quicker for the perk we have hard scope of course i chose hard scope because it helps more with the recoil and accuracy specifically in sustain aim down sight so just to add on to the other recoil control attachments this one uh, really elevates it uh, and lastly for our second perk i just chose fast melee i don't think any of these other ones will be uh, as helpful perhaps fully loaded is one that i would put um, but in this slot, it really doesn't matter. We'll just go with fully loaded just to help us out there. If we uh, drop in, we want to make sure that we have our max starting ammo. All right. And so that is what we have with our 
assault rifle. Um, for the secondary weapon, I just went with the launcher. It's very helpful to um, shoot down vehicles whenever you can and in close spaces. For the perks, like I said, I wanted it to be as stealthy as possible. So I went with Cold Blooded to um, make sure that you know we're not we're not targeted by any of the thermal optics like what I'm using. Um, second perk is going to be Ghost, obviously, to uh, avoid being traced by the heartbeat sensors and UAVs. And then I love this third perk of Combat Scout. It really helps you, like, it really marks the man that you're firing at for the rest of your team so that they can lock in on that man and finish him off if you're, you're not able to. Um, for the lethal, I went with the Molotov cocktail, but if you're more of a, uh, I guess, camper or stationary person, you would definitely want the Fox Spine. Uh, it's very helpful in many situations like that, uh, but it's really up to your choice. And then tactical, I always go with heartbeat sensor, so I could always just find and stalk people, I guess, in the war zone and then eliminate them with this silent Cooper carbine. Um, just really powerful and, and really effective loadout. So yeah, let's jump into a few matches and take a closer look at this load. Eyes on shooter. Enemy soldier nearby. Use a rocket launcher. <laughs> Enemy cluster strike. Watch your heads. No recoil whatsoever. Move it. Send it rocket. Another with the rocket launcher. That's barbecue chicken. Enemy dropping into the AO. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Great here. That was an experience. I shot a guy and I downed him, but my incendiary, incendiary rounds killed him. The bounty target is up. Take him down. No sweat. UAV active. Alright, let's see. Find this guy. Oh, he's over here somewhere. No sweat. 
Don't get used. Strike here. Got your request. Cluster strike is active. Look at that. Zero recoil. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Time to cover your tracks. There's an enemy team hunting for you. Enemy dropping into the AO. Alright, I think it's safe to say the loadout is pretty OP. What surprised me most was that the incendiary rounds were able to finish off some of my opponents when I couldn't shoot them anymore, as you saw. Um, also, the combat scout per worked perfectly with this loadout because you're able to mark not only for your teammates, but as well as for yourself. Um, so that helps you see through the buildings and finish off your enemies that way. Um, so overall, I'm very happy with this loadout. Uh, I'm not the best COD player, so if I can win with this loadout, y'all definitely can win with this one. If I do lose with this loadout, I know it's going to be my own fault or my own aiming because this is not recoil at all. And it's overall near perfect for its intended use, being very stealthy and um, zero recoil associated with it. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, just yeah enjoy uh, please be sure to build this loadout you're gonna win many matches you're gonna dominate the war zone and you will not regret it peace